The women of the sea begin their day by checking the conditions of the sea. 오늘은 충분할 수 있으나 오늘은 들까? 한이바름 불어 그래 일로 바람이 오면 한이바로 절로면 새빠라. 그냥 오늘은 이디만 작업하는 수 있는다. 저쪽에 뭔가 된게. She analyzes the wind, the wave, the current more accurately than any weather forecaster in the world. Once the decision is made, the woman gets busy. There are tried and true recipes, smeared toothpaste with mugwort, to prevent the fogging inside the goggles. Plug ear holes with chewed gum. Last but not least, take painkillers for the headaches from underwater pressure. Now they report to the sea for work. The sea determines what time. This is the last stop where they get together to check their equipment. Just goggles, weight belts, and hose. There are 4,500 Hanyo on Jeju Island. Most of them learned to be Hanyo as soon as they could walk. The birth of a girl meant the birth of another Hanyo. Jeju Island is famous for its natural beauty and clean environment. But it is not the scenery that the women of the sea are after. Sea snail. Sea urchin. The most coveted of all, abalone. and the octopus are what they are after. But not everyone can catch them. Because there's a strict hierarchy in the sea. Those who work the bottom rung are called dregs. The drags work hard, but their sea is not always generous. Oak Kim was a born drag. She knew that herself, how deep she is allowed to dive. Changja belongs to Group B. For 70 years, she has been working the same sea. This is where Group A works.
Here, they are rewarded with premium goods, but the water pressure is heavier and their breath more stretched. In a typical workday, Group A divers take more than 1,000 plunges for as long as three minutes each. They must always have enough breath to come up to the surface. When they come up, they blow out a whistle-like noise. Sumpisori is part of the Hanya breathing technique to work longer in the sea. Group A Hanya work in the distant sea, 700 meters away from the coast. They work eight continuous hours without even drinking water. Holding breath is the only way for them to work in the waters. It came to me as a real surprise that the rank of Hanyo is predetermined solely by her breath capacity, and the breath is predetermined by heaven. <laughs> Yan Hee is a living legend. She's famous for her long breath underwater. This is Yan Hee working with another group A Henya. She comes up for air once, while the other surfaces twice. 숨어 숨이 긴 사람은 행동도 좀 느려. 그런데다가 숨이 기니까 이제 자세히 보고 잡는 거지. She never hurries in water, yet she rakes in a netful of conch, which some divers find hard to catch even one. Her colleagues call her an ocean excavator. Jeju Henya understand their breath is determined by heaven and granted by ocean, so they accept the ranks.
The breadth determines the rank and greatly affects the harvest. After a hard day's work, these lower rung henya become edgy when they weigh the day's work. Yanhi, the excavator, emerged again with a large catch. Whatever the weight, their daily catch, everyone knows they risked their life for it. <laughs> 